Hi, I'm Ben Zwickle, and welcome to this Mathematica screencast on selecting a subset from 1D and 2D lists. A previous screencast showed you how to select a pair of columns from an array of imported oscilloscope data and how to plot it. This short screencast will cover the same kinds of things, but will go over the syntax in more complete detail. The main method you have to be familiar with uh, when selecting subsets from uh, a list of data is the part function. It's called the part function because it selects a part of a list, which is the same thing as saying it selects a subset of the data. The most common syntax is as follows. So if we have a list named data, we use double square brackets, and anything inside the double brackets is an index which tells you which part of data to select. So this selects the first part of data, or the first element of data. Uh, so this syntax is very similar to um, a number of programming languages where you'd have an array name followed by a pair of square brackets and uh, the index inside. Now there's an alternative way to select the part function, which is as follows. So we have a function named part that takes two arguments. The first is the name of the list that you're going to take a part of, and the second is the index. So these are two equivalent ways to use the part function, although the top right here is almost uh, universally used and I never use the bottom personally. Alright, let's see how we can use this part function on 1D lists. So first we need a 1D list to practice on. One easy way to do that is to use the range function. So I'm going to make a 1D list and I'm going to use the range function and it takes three arguments the stop value, start, the start value, the stop value, and the increment. So if we want to take the fourth element, or the fourth part of this data list, all we have to do is say data1d, double square brackets, and then the number 4, and it returns 0 0.3 as expected. Uh, so we can do the same thing by selecting out uh, an entire subset of these. So suppose we wanted to pick out not just the fourth, but we wanted to pick out the first, the fourth, the seventh, and the eighth elements. Alright, there you go. So uh, there's some other important things to note. So if you want to get an entire range, like suppose you want to go from the first element all the way to the fifth element, that would be as follows. Where the double semicolon means everything in between. And uh, we can do a similar kind of thing where we could say take uh, where we could cut off the first few elements. So suppose we want to start now at the third element and go all the way to the end. So instead of actually specifying an index here, if we just leave it blank, it assumes it's end. So this syntax here means go from the third element to the end. Um, there's a couple of other important variations to take note of. So if you give it a negative index, such as minus one, it actually returns the last element. If you give it minus 2, it returns the second to last element. Uh, so um, those are the basic examples for how to use uh, the part function on a 1D list. Lastly, let's look at taking a subset of a 2D list. So first I need a 2D list to practice on. So I'll do that by using the random integer function. So in this case, it's going to return an integer between minus 9 and plus 9 and give me a list that has 6 rows and 4 columns. So if I hit shift enter, that's what I get. And if I want to view that in an easier form, uh, we can do data, data 2D and apply the grid function, and it looks like that. So suppose I want to look at the element in the third row, second column. All I have to do now is to give it two indices instead of one. So third row, second column, we get minus five. So here we see in the third row, second column is a minus five. Uh, the, the one main difference between selecting a subset of a 2D list and a 1D list is the, is the word all. So um, if we ever want to collect all of the rows or all of the columns um, from the list, we can use all in place of one of the indices. So suppose we want to get all of the second column. All we have to do there then is put our double square brackets, and instead of saying the third row, we say we want all rows, second column, and there we have it. Uh, if we instead wanted to do the first and the second columns, uh, we could give that second argument as a list. Uh, so this is going to take all rows, first column and second column. And now we get a 2D uh, 
list, which we can view also using grid. And that's how you take a subset of a 2D list. Thanks.